Bioshock, it was really a detective story. You were in a space that was, you know, was Terra Nova, was, it was new for you. And um, you, you, were all, you were by def, you were sort of, not really by choice, even a detective as you move through this space, learning at the same time when the actual character you're inhabiting would be learning. It's not like you put him in 1930s New York and he's a guy from 1930s New York who would know 1930s New York. This guy is as new to the place as you are. And all those things were perfect for us because we could introduce the character and the player at the same time to what they were seeing. And we were able to use all the, um, this is, you know, culture. And I think games have a lot of trouble with this sometimes is um, culture is a very, you know, is a thing that people layer upon the necessities. So you go to a bathroom, every, every part of the world needs a bathroom. You know, everybody's got that, got to do that business. But there are cultural things that get layered on top of that. Everybody's got food and restaurant and food preparation. But there are cultural things layered on top of that. Um, I think that um, game developers sometimes miss opportunities with finding, um, finding culture. I think you find, so you see a lot of games take place in factories and in um, office buildings and warehouses. There's a real missed opportunity there because you're not thinking about, you know, what am I saying about specifically where I am and the culture of where I am. Um, and, you know, we, we can do that so much better through our environments, through our characters, currently where we are with, with the technology.